Hey kids, today we will practice multiplication facts for 10 and 11. And 10s and 11s are really easy. So for example, uh, 10 times 6 equals 60. And that's all we had to do is add a 0 to the 6. Or let's try 11. 11 times 8 is 88. And that's all we had to do there is to double the 8 for 88. So 10s and 11s are really easy. What we're going to do today for this lesson is we're going to review some vocabulary and concepts. Then we will learn some tricks for 10 and 11. And then last, we're going to practice our 10 and 11 facts. And Wally probably is going to join us a little bit today, okay? All right, the numbers that you multiply, for example, 10 times 4, are called factors. The answer in multiplication for this example 40 is called the product. You can switch the order of your factors and you will still get the same product. You can also multiply up and down for example 10 times 4 equals 40 and you could switch the order and you're still going to get the same answer. Our strategy uh, for tens is simply going to be uh, that you add a zero to the other number. So for example, 10 times 3, the other number is 3. And Wally is going to sh uh, show us where to put it. So, okay, Wally, thank, thank you, Wally. So we put the 3, so that's the other number. And then we're just going to add, thank Wally, thank you. And then we're just going to add a zero. So our answer is 30. 10 times 3 is 30. So let's try another one. So 10 times 8. The other number is 8, right? So we're going to start with that. Wally, can you show us where to go? Thank you. So we take our 8. Now, are we done? Thanks, Wally. Are we done? No. We've got to add the 0. And so 10 times 8 is 80. Now, our strategy for 11 is also really easy. It's just double the other number. So for example, 11 times 5, the other number is 5. And oh, Wally, okay, Wally, show us. Okay, so we're going to take our five, right? Thanks, Wally. And then we're going to double it. So five doubled would be 55. In other words, 11 times five is 55. Let's try another one. 11 times nine, the other number is our nine. Thank you, Wally. So we start there, and then thanks, Wally, and then we just double it for 99. Now, Please remember that the 11 rule will only work up to 9. Uh, for example, it will not work for 10. Uh, and you cannot use the double rule for 10, 11, and 12. So remember, only up to 9. So can we do 11 times 11? No, it will not work for 11. We cannot use the double rule for 10, 11, and 12. So could we do 11 times 12 using the double rule? No, only up to 9. We can't do 12, okay? Only for 10, 11, and 12. All right, let's practice a little bit. Our 10s and 11s, Wally, okay, thank you. All right, 10 times 2. That's going to be our 10 rule, and remember that we're going to add 0 to the other number. Well, the other number is 2, right? And then we're going to take our 0, and so 10 times 2 equals 20. Good job. 3 times 11. Remember, that is our 11 rule. And we're going to double the other number. Well, the other number is 3, right? And we're just going to double it. So 3 times 11 is 33. Great. 10 times 7. So we start with our other number, right? And what are we going to do? Add a... 0. So 10 times 7 is 70. Oh, th th thanks, Wally. 7 times 11. So the 11 rules, we're going to take the other number, right? And we're going to double it. So 7 times 11 is 77. 10 times 5. We're going to use our 10 rule. So we take the 5. And are we done? No, we're going to add a 0. So 10 times 5 is 50. 1 times 11. So the other number for the 11 rule, right? We're going to take that and we're just going to double it. 
Uh, or you could really just use the one rule, right? Which is any number times one is itself. So for example, the 11 would just stay the same because of the one rule. So either way, whichever way you like to do it. Oh, well, I, 10 times four would be our 10 rule, right? So we take our other number. Are we done? No, we need to add your zero. So 10 times four is 40. Eight times 11, remember that is our 11 rule. So we take the eight and we're just going to double it. So eight times 11 is 88. 10 times zero, well, that's just easy. That's the zero rule. Any number times zero equals zero. Lolly, oh, okay, thanks. You wanted to show us where, and the zero goes right there. So 10 times zero equals zero. 10 times 11. Interesting because we have 10 and 11, but here the 10 rule wins. Remember the 10 rules that we take the other number, okay? And what do we do? We add a zero. We're gonna add our zero. So 10 times 11 is 110. Now, can we use the 11 rule and double? No, we cannot use the 11 rule. Um, you can't double 10. If you double 10, it would look like that, right? 1,010, and that would be the wrong answer. Wally. 10 times nine, well, that's just our 10 rule. So we're gonna take our nine. Add your zero, and 10 times nine is 90. Four times 11, let's just double the four, okay? So four times 11 is 44, great. 10 times 10, that's gonna be the 10 rule still. I'll just take your 10, add a zero, and 10 times 10 is 100. 12 times 11, okay, remember we said that we can only use the 11 rule up to nine, but what we can do is think of it this way. If 12 times 10 is 120, then 120 in one more group of 12 would be 132. So 12 times 11 equals 132. And the more you do that, eventually you will memorize that fact. Zero times 11, that's easy, right? Just the zero rule. Any number times zero equals zero. Lolly, th thanks for showing us, and that would be zero. 10 times one, right? Are we done? No, nope. gotta add your zero. Great, so 10 times one is 10. That is the 10 rule. I uh, also could use the one rule for that where any number times one is itself and either one you like is fine. Two times 11 is our 11 rule. We're going to double the two, okay? So two times 11 is 22. 10 times 12, it's gonna use the 10 rule. We're gonna take the 12, are we done? No, we want to add a zero, so our answer is 120. 11 times 11, can we use the 11 rule? Good job, no we can't. We said it only goes up to nine. However, think of it this way. 11 times 10 would be 110, right? If we take 110 and just add one more group of 11 would be 121. So 11 times 11 is 121. Six times 11, that's just our double rule, right? So we take our six, and double it. So six times 11 is 66. Good job. Keep practicing and working on your multiplication facts. Thanks, Wally, and we will, thank you. We will see you on the next one.